someone would have just unfortunately maybe just dumped him because he did have a really big swelling on the left side of his stomach. That fluid's coming from somewhere, we need to find out where. Okay, X-rays. There's too much fluid in there. So much fluid. To have urine floating around in the abdomen means that there's a tear somewhere or there's some sort of leakage coming from his urinary tract. Oh no. So when I look up in the monitor and I can see his heart's dropping and it's dropping really low. We need to stop everything we're doing and try and get that heart rate back up again. Almost there. In Sydney, Audrey and vet nurse Bree are on their way to check up on one of their very special little patients. Look at my little boy. Hi, baby. Hi. You look very bright. <laughs> Two weeks ago, cat lover Zarima rescued a four-week-old kitten after he was found by the side of a road with a shocking deformity. We'll go check you out. Do you want to come into the van and I'll have a good look at him in there? I don't know if mum had left him behind or someone would have just, unfortunately, maybe just dumped him. Because he did have a really big swelling on the left side of his stomach and it was, the swelling was actually almost as big as him. Thank you. Oh, baby. Hi. He has grown. I, he's grown half. Because I remember I've, I've yeah, fit him in my whole hand before. Honestly, as soon as I took him to the hospital, they did tell me that there was no chance um, and the kindest thing to do would be to let him go. Okay. And then I thought, no, I, I wanted to hear from Audrey. And of course, straight away, she was in there and she's like, no, we're going to do everything we can for him. We're going to give the surgery a go and see if he can pull through. Without emergency surgery, the little kitten's chances were slim. We're really, really worried because he's got this big swelling inside his thigh and we're quite concerned that it's a hernia and some of his bladder has come through and his small intestine. So we have to have a look, see if we can pop it all back in uh, and hopefully give him a fighting chance. Everything just looks massive in his baby. Mm. I actually didn't think he was going to make it at all. Initially, we thought he maybe had a small tear in his abdominal muscles and that's where all the organs were herniating through. Once we went inside, it was a completely different story. We actually found he had not much muscle on one side and the muscle had completely torn away from the wall. Uh, so it was a pretty big surgery, but we got there in the end. Now it's time to find out if the surgery has worked. The good news is all his um, hernia repair, so that muscle repair that we did on his abdominal wall, that's all stayed because I can feel that's intact. And there's no, you know, intestines or bladder coming through like before. But that fluid's coming from somewhere. We need to find out where. The kitten appears to be recovering well from the surgery, but there's a new problem. And we've been monitoring this for the last two weeks and noticed that there is a bit of fluid. Not sure where it's coming from, but I'm really worried it may be the first surgery not working out, or is there something else that's happening? We tested it the other day and it did come back very suspicious as as urine, um, so if there's a small tear in the bladder, and it would be small because it builds up over a couple of weeks, um, we've got to go in and repair it, yeah. It's always a little bit of a blow, you know, when you've done this big surgery and they've been recovering so well and then you hit this hiccup, um, but I think, you know, the main aim is trying to find out what's going on and, and fix it as soon as we can. Auntie Audrey and Auntie Brie are going to look after yeah, you. They're going to look after you, okay? Zarima is a really nice girl. She rescues all these kittens and spends her own money, you know, repairing them and making them better. So I think maybe she's called him little boy because she doesn't want to get too attached, but she's completely in love with him. I come across so many animals that need help, or especially cats. There's so many stray cats and they don't speak. They don't have a voice. So we need to do it for them and I want to give him a good life. You're dying to come out, don't you? Audrey is about to investigate a worrying leak from rescue kitten little boy's abdomen. Come on. Oh, no. <gasps> you don't want to come out. I was feeling nervous and a little bit emotional before because, you know, just seeing how much mum loves him and, you know, how much he's been through and him being so little. Um, but now I think I'm on that role of let's find out what's going on. Let's get him better. 
So we're just gonna do some plain x-rays first. I just wanna see how everything's sitting in the abdomen since the last big surgery. Audrey's concerned there's still something seriously wrong with a tiny kitten. Okay, x-rays. There's too much fluid in there. So much fluid. To have urine floating around in the abdomen means that there's a tear somewhere or there's some sort of leakage coming from his urinary tract, whether it's his bladder or the tubes coming in and out of the bladder, we just don't know. So because he's so tiny, he's so young, his body condition, you know, he's very small, the anaesthetic is always risky. Um, so we just gotta watch him closely, try and make it as safe as we can. So I've popped an anaesthetic tube in and that just makes sure that we can keep his depth under control. And then once I'm happy with how he's going, I'm actually going to catheterize his penis into his bladder and start injecting some dye to have a look. It's like threading a needle but harder because they've got this little bend, um, so you've got to maneuver it really mm. gently. And then obviously everything's minuscule size. So what I want to see is that dye filling up the bladder wall and just see if it's leaking out from anywhere. I hope that there's an obvious tear in the bladder and we can go in and repair it. That's flowing, it's flowing, it's flowing. X-rays. And as we take more and more x-rays, I'm feeling even more concerned because I'm not seeing what I want to see. I actually want to see a tear in the bladder because I know I can go in and I know I can fix that today. But it's filling nicely, there aren't any leakages, so now I'm even more confused. I'm going to say let's inject another 0.2. I'm going to inject half first. Yep. Oh no. So I look up in the monitor and I can see his heart's dropping and it's dropping really low and I go into panic mode. We need to stop everything we're doing and try and get that heart rate back up again. Oh, oh, oh. No, I'm just giving him atropine to try and get his heart rate up again. Oh, baby, baby. It's going up. Oh, it's going up. The heart rate's going up slowly. Just keep the oxygen on though. Bit of a scare. Baby anesthetic, it's always scary. Whenever you're doing an anaesthetic and you're concentrating on what you have to do and then there's an anaesthetic complication, there's a lot of pressure because you're trying to do the procedure, you're trying to get the anaesthetic stable and at the back of my mind, I'm just seeing Zarima, you know, really holding on to little boy and he means everything to her. So there's so much pressure in an emergency situation. Little boy is finally stable, but the x-rays haven't revealed the cause of the worrying leak in his abdomen. So Audrey now wants him to get specialist treatment. Hello. Hello. Look who's here. Hello. Hello. He's pooing already. It's time to tell anxious owner Zarima that her precious kitten's future is still uncertain. The bladder does fill up with contrast or the stain that we put in and I can see the nice balloon of the bladder and I can actually see you know the tube where it comes out through his penis I can see all of that looks great there's no leakages there so then the questions coming where is it coming from I honestly don't know what to think we were hoping it would be perhaps a tear in the bladder or something that we could repair but at the moment we, you know it's, it's, there's a big question mark we don't know that's kind of what I was afraid of I love you Oh, chicken, what are we going to do with you? Hi, Zarima. Oh, hello. Hi, I'm Andrew. Andrew. Nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Hello. This, this is little boy. It is. Hello, little boy. Hey, kitty cat. What's all oh, like? Ow. He got me already. <laughs> Zarema and little boy have now arrived at the small animal specialist hospital for a consult with surgeon Andrew Machevsky. He's quite bright, and you know, in a way, you just if a cat's got all this urine in his tummy, you really should be much sicker. I guess the possibility is because it's been there for literally half his life. Maybe he's just thinking, well, that's that's my life. Oh, hello. Oh. Yeah, and that's my life, and okay, and they get on. So you might have adapted to it. You know, an ultrasound is a really easy way to get, have a look inside. Don't need to anaesthetise him, don't need to sedate him. And if we see some fluid, we can get a sample. I'm definitely happy that he's in your care right. and he's in everyone's care. Yeah. And I think he can feel that too because he yeah. won't stop purring no. and playing. And I think he likes all of you because he knows that you're going to help him. I don't think you'll get anywhere near the nurses because I'm going to carry you around because I can put you in my pocket. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Come on, little boy. Where are you going? 
we get you sorted. I guess what we're trying to find out with little boy is, you know, has he still got fluid in his tummy? And if he has, what that fluid is. Because if it's urine, he's in a heap of trouble. You can't, like, imagine anyone living life having fluid constantly building up in their abdomen all over. So I'm just, I am scared. There's some urine in it. A little bit of urine, yeah. Oh, little You're boy. Right. You're a real wiggle puss. Do you think that's an amount you'd be able to sample? But as little boy's ultrasound gets underway, the results are not what anyone was expecting. You're okay. So have you seen anything with the left kidney that looks concerning? No. 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 I'm looking at this ultrasound and the first thing that strikes me is there's not a huge amount of fluid in there. I don't think there's much going on and the bits that I can see of his kidneys, they look okay, so it's really kind of exciting. I think really from my point of view, it's just there's no fluid there, which considering what it was a few days ago yeah. is great. So given what we're seeing on the ultrasound, he might actually be okay and I, I don't think he's going to need surgery. Hello. How are you going? Come <laughs> on inside and we'll have a chat. Hi. So, first and foremost, the ultrasound showed there is no fluid in there. Anymore? None. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone? It's gone. Gone. Really? All yeah, of no, it's no, gone? No. Yeah, it's all gone. He'd had a major trauma and it had been there a while and was just all irritated and the fluid was building up. And now with the you know, tincture of time and TLC, it's gone. I cannot believe it because so many times I've been told, you know, it's time to say goodbye. Oh. Everything's going to be okay, okay? The moment I got him, I knew I was like, I could never let you go. That's why you have to make it through. And he showed us that he wants to. Good people have looked after you. Yes? He's so full of life. <laughs> Oh, oh gosh, such good oh, news. No. I can't wait to see you. Three days later, Audrey is checking up on her miracle patient. Do you know all the heartbreak you've been causing everybody? Hmm? That little boy looks completely happy and normal today. He's running around. You wouldn't even know all the trauma that he's been through. And your hair's growing back. <laughs> Look at that. Gosh, his belly is back to normal. I think little boy is the luckiest cat that ever lived. He's got Zarima who loves him to death, would do anything to help him, you know, get through this. And I think it's because of all her love and tender loving care that he's actually pulled through. And I think he's come to the right place. Yay! I just think all the tears and all the, all the pain and the sleepless nights, I'm like, did that actually happen? Because he's presenting like completely fine now. <laughs> it's unbelievable. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way. That way. <laughs>